Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.50 from study book. And the question is, use mass analysis to find the current I0. I0 is here, using mass analysis. So let's start by drawing the loops that we need. So let's name this loop 1. This one here is loop 2. And this one here is loop 3. Now we start at loop 1. And we are going to use KVL, the sum of uh, voltages in a loop is equal to zero. And we start at this voltage source, and the current is flowing from the negative to positive, so the sign will be negative, and the value is 35 volt. And now we move on to this resistor here, 10 because we are in loop 1 so we multiply it by the loop current but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so we subtract I3 from it like that and the last one is this dependent current source but it is current so we don't know the voltage here I just want to write it as P0 and it's flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive so I will have plus P0 and that will equal to 0 now I do some simple algebra here I move this minus 35 to the right hand side and I multiply this 10 10 I1 minus 10 I3 plus P0 and that will equal 35 okay now we are done for loop one and now we are move on to loop number two again the sum of voltages in a loop is equal to zero and we start from this dependent current source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative but the value is unknown so we just leave it as V0 and then we move on to this resistance to ohm we are working on loop 2 so we multiply it by the loop current I2 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I3 and this one 8 ohm the only current that pass through it is I2 and that will equal to 0 so now we are doing simple algebra again 2 plus 8 ok I will write this down it's 10 I2 and minus 2 I3 and that we call to 0 ok let's save this as equation number 1 and this as equation number two now let's move on to loop number three loop three loop three here again we are using kvl and we start from this four ohm resistance so four times i3 and it's the only current that passed through it so I don't do anything this 2 ohm resistance we multiply it by I3 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 and then this 10 ohm resistance 10 I3 this I1 is to the opposite direction so minus I1 and that will equal to 0 now let's do some calculation here minus 10 I1 and for I2 I have minus 2 I2 and for I3 I have 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 10 it's 16 16 I3 and that will equal to 0 let's have this as equation number 3 now we have three equations but we have four variables i1, i2, i3 and v0 
so we need one more equations and we we'll take a look at this dependent current source so here it's going up so it will be the same as i2 and here i1 is to the opposite direction so i put negative sign here and that will equal to the value of this dependent current source which is 3 i0 and here i0 is here which is same as loop number 3 so i will have i2 minus i1 is equal to 3 i3 and now i will have i1 minus i2 okay plus 3 i3 is equal to 0 and let's have this as equation number 4 so we have four equations with four variables we have one two three four and let's write this as matrix form boom so here is the matrix form of our equations and we can plug this into MATLAB and we will obtain i1 i2 i3 and v0 which i have done it so i1 is 0 0.8413 ampere i2 is 3.8702 ampere i3 is 1.0096 ampere and v0 is 36. Point six eight twenty seven four so here we have i1 i2 and i3 and we are asked to find i0 which is have the same value as i3 so i0 is 1.0096 ampere and here is our final answer for 3.50 Hopefully I don't make any mistake and thank you for watching.